The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier alongside uh, Charles Bird, Clark Bird. Uh, you sprint out of the locker room, likely a good talk, trying to get here before Chuck Benson. Yeah, I'll try you, to disturb you a little beat, bit. You beat people off the dribble all game long. You beat Chuck Benson to the post game interview. Uh, what was the key in a 23 point win of, over the Trojans today? Uh, we knew that was a good team. You know, they got. They got they got great players with great uh three point shooting, but uh they're a little they're a little young, and I think that our our vet our vet team uh came out and was more experienced than them today and uh, out outperformed. You you've had games defensively of late where turnovers have been a key uh, in providing for long stoppages of scoring for your opposition. Late in the first half, they go one for the final nine of that period. Uh, they start the second half shooting 25%. I only turned it over eight times. What was it about the defense today that proved to be so successful? Uh, we just, in practice, emphasize on being a little bit more stingy, try not to get them anything easy, uh, and it worked today. I mean, they were only shots they made was the open ones, and we tried not to give them too many of those. But, they, I mean, they're a good team, so they, they had a couple. And, uh, I mean, they, they finished those. But for, uh, for the majority of the game, I felt like they – they were, their shots that they were getting was uh, contested, and that's what that's what helped us. On the other hand, I, I don't. I know personally. I've been doing this for a, a little over a decade now. I've never witnessed a half of basketball where a team shot 80 percent. Carson Newman was 20 for 25 in the second half. What do the Eagles owe that offensive efficiency to? Uh, just moving the ball. We uh we moved the ball, and when we share the ball, uh, we get open shots, and that's what we and we converted on them. Uh, no matter if it was a three point or a layup. Uh. Basically, uh, those open shots, and we, we knocked them down. Fourth career double-double. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. And we got to give credit to the shot factory that we had to go to every day. <laughs> Definitely that. <laughs> the shot factory. The shot factory. What's the shot factory? Uh, see, we little workouts that we got to do. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, then. Uh, fourth career double-double for you. First time you've actually gotten to celebrate one. 0 for 3. Previous three times you'd had a double-double. 27 points, a career high, 13 rebounds. Uh, what did you do to get on the offensive glass? Uh... And defensive glass, for that matter. I was just trying to be aggressive to the boards. Uh, we know in our uh, – what's up? <laughs> we, we know in our zone uh, we got <laughs> – Charles Clark, Chuck Benson standing by because Clark beat him off the dribble to the, yeah. to, he was, to he the was headset. Taking too long, coach. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to – uh, put a picket fence out on the stairwell. Continue. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, just trying to be aggressive. We know our zone. Uh, it's kind of when you when you play a zone, it's kind of weak rebounding. But we try to play aggressive and get on the glass as much as we could. All right, Bird. Thanks for the time. Congrats on the double double and beating your head coach to the interview table. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is Carson Newman, junior guard Charles Clark. This is.